I think from based on today's videos, um, we seem to have a decent solution to the wind noise problem. I mean, I don't think I'll ever get the audio to be completely wind noise free, but um, we'll get, uh, I can get some decent audio, I'll be home free. I'm not sure which way is the best way to oh, what the hell I'm doing. <laughs> uh, I should have just gone through that after all that shit. I was thinking about going down there and said, nope. Maybe I won't do it. Oh, I want to show something here. Um, no, nah, let's not do that right now. Um, so we got to race home before it rains. Again. It's already rained once tonight. These guys kill me, man. They don't want to go through the light. They see the red light over there. They don't want to go through the light. You can get off the brakes too, buddy. So, um, I think the other, a couple, I have three problems. Three technical problems. The first was um, a bunch of actually I should say. The first one was the connectors were coming loose. Okay, uh, the slightest bit of strain on the cable was causing the thing to come loose. The second, I had a um, a 2.5 millimeter jack in the audio input to this camera and. I was riding around and I forgot about it and it leaked in the camera significantly and it got some water up in the camera and so, oh Jesus, this guy's as bad as I am. <laughs> I mean, he pulled like the perfect, perfect lane, last second lane change. Although luckily for him, he got behind that car, so. I hate people to do that shit. There's one thing I can't stand in when people drive is wait to the last fucking second to change lanes. You know, there are people planning to go there. Odds are there's somebody already planning to go there and you just whip over in front of them. Somehow I've never seen anyone actually get into an accident like that, but it's just miraculous that it doesn't happen. Um, Uh, the third problem I had was the uh, card wasn't empty enough. I think you have to have, uh, if you're going to let it just run and run, especially with high bit rates. And I, if a fast enough card, a class 10 card, but um, there were files in the quote unquote trash folder and stuff like that, and it was filling up the, uh, the card. Um, enough to be a problem. Although I'm not like 100% sure of this. The bigger problem I think I had is I had some problem with my um, laptop not copying files correctly. And um, the audio wasn't being completely copied. It's very likely that the files themselves were not completely copied. Um, that I thought were copied. This is, I'm running, I was running on, you know, I have a, a laptop I'm running Ubuntu uh, 14 LTS 64 bit, and it just may not have been copying the files right. So, so now my test procedure is to immediately check the files on the camera before I do any copying. And I, and I learned a while ago not to, um, cut the files off the camera rather than to copy them and then um, make sure you get everything and then delete the files off the camera. So, um, I 
a number of possible pitfalls, which I think I've negotiated. But one of the ones that really annoy me and the one that I, I, I've sort of frustrated about the most here is my inability to just cut one of these condenser mics out of a head, headset. You know, those little phone headsets that have um, the earpieces, earbuds, and then they have a mic on the one of the earbud cords and it has a little um, spring-loaded switch that you can actually use to um, turn the mic off. I found that out when I opened it up. Um, so I had that all open and I can't quite get the right solder connection on that microphone, on the condenser mic. But it's a nice mic, nice little cheap mic. These things are seven to eight bucks. You can just cut them right apart. And, um, look at all these bikes. I just can't imagine leaving my bike in the middle of the street in New York. I mean, I can understand this, there's another bike. This has been gentrified to a large degree, but still, I'm, I wouldn't be bold enough to leave my bike on DC streets. And, you know, I, I don't even want to get into that whole issue again of how much trouble people can be when they want to be trouble to a motorcycle. Let's make it slick, baby. So now that I've published some of my videos, I guess I'll have to start taking different commuting routes and things like that to keep from having uh, issues, certain trolls and such ilk, gals, goblins. Uh, as I was alluding to with the whole security issue, I remember riding up this road many times on my old bike, man. And it was just pouring rain in, and I'm just like over here in the side, just, oh my God, I hope I get home safe. Oh my God, I hope I get home safe. And man, coming down these hills in the rain, it was cold, and just going, what am I doing? Um, but, nope, it made it home fine time and time again. Uh, as much as I had trouble with that bike, then I really did. It was a fantastic, reliable bike, got me where I needed to go, and I didn't have a lot of trouble with it on the road. I only had trouble with it once on a, on a ride where I got stuck, and that's where I was dumb enough to have somebody change the oil and the stupid uh, cam chain tensioner was stuck because I was keep kept putting car oil in the, in the bike when I was a quart low. Anyway, time for notes tomorrow.